Okay, so um, this is what I normally do. I usually use two different, this is the one in question. Oftentimes I also use this style. So what I do, if I know I'm gonna be imaging, first thing I do is I get my eyepiece. Say so here's my eyepiece. I put it in, I quick tighten this up. And what I wanna do is that if I know this is the plane of where my cell phone is going to be on, I try to get the eyepiece kind of level to that plane. I know this is a, we have a cup, so, you know, here we go. You can kind of see. Then after that, I'll take my phone, I'll place my phone into place. You know how you have your tightening screw right here to, to tighten your phone into place here. This is a smashed phone. <laughs> We're using that as an example. Then what I do is I make sure I have a bright light from up above. So what I do is, is then I'll loosen up this screw. That's gonna slide my eyepiece up and down. And then I align my eyepiece so I can see my lens of my eyepiece down through the back side. Or I can see the lens of my phone through my eyepiece. And when when the eyepiece and the phone, see how close together they are? That's how I can see the lens of my phone through my eyepiece. If the gap is too far, it's very hard to see. So I I line it up. I'm like, okay, I can I have now have the lens of my phone perfectly centered in my eyepiece. I hold it down. I tighten this up. Then what I do, <laughs> you see how close this is? How the top of my eyepiece is jammed right up against the, the lens of my, my phone. If it's on this style, which is very similar, I loosen up this because this is what keeps my eyepiece tight. And that's what the same thing that this does. So I'll loosen this up. Now since I know I have it centered, I raise it away and then I tighten it again. So now I have a gap. Can you see that gap when I said about a half inch, 0.5 inches of a gap? Now I have a gap in between there. And then what I do is I'll place it in whatever telescope I'm using. And you know, when you're working with the moon, this is easy. If you're doing the stars and galaxies, it's a little bit different of a process. So now I'll aim it towards the moon you know, okay. And let me grab another eyepiece. Look at this little setup right here. Wait for it. What I like to do is I get a similar powered eyepiece that's connected to my phone. So what I like to do is take my similar eyepiece I find my subject if it's the moon or a planet. And I move this around. Okay, yep. I have my the moon in. Then now since I have the moon in there, I can slip this eyepiece out, put it there, then put this in. Now I should be able to see the moon on my screen on my phone. I may have to adjust it a little bit where my phone needs to slide to the left or to the right or back and forth, but then I loosen this up. This is where I get the adjustment of moving the eyepiece away from the lens of my phone. And that's gonna open up my field of view. So once everything's adjusted properly, this is my last adjustment. I call it my field of view adjustment because it's moving the phone away from the eyepiece. And the farther you spread that distance apart, and then you can still be able to lock on and your phone stays still, you're gonna get a wild field of a wider field of view on your phone screen now when you have that gap. That gap is tricky though because there's a an area of play where once you get too far it doesn't work. But hopefully this quick little elongated video helps. And uh, that's how I use that one. And very similar with this eyepiece. When this one's in here, say, um, 
I do the same thing where uh, once that's in there and my phone's connected, you know, eyepiece is tightened down to your diagonal. I loosen this up when the phone is connected and I adjust it up and down this way. And that gives me that wide field of view that I'm looking for in order to be able to fit the whole moon on my phone screen. And uh, it can be a little technical sometimes, but I, I think you'll get it. We got clouds. Hopefully you don't. You can mess with that. See what happens.